Microsoft has been using Windows Update in a malware-like fashion in an attempt to force users to upgrade to Windows 10. The software giant has added its Windows 10 upgrade as a recommended update to the automatic updating service of its operating system. They have also quietly changed the way that the recommended window behaves. Previously, users could just close the recommended updates window to deny those updates. It now seems that closing the window constitutes consent to install Windows 10. Users who are happy with Windows 7 and 8 are becoming so frustrated with the company's strategy that they are opting to turn off automatic updates altogether to avoid being forced to upgrade to an operating system that they do not want. Auto-updating was created so that Microsoft engineers could issue security patches immediately to keep users safe from hackers who could use holes in the operating system to compromise it. By turning off automatic updating, these patches have to be downloaded and installed manually, which a lot of users are going to forget or simply not go to the trouble to do. Those who do go through the manual process are still not likely to get the patches as soon as they are released unless they are extremely diligent in checking for them. Microsoft certainly did not intend to put computers at risk with their actions. In fact, a Microsoft spokesperson made a statement reported by the register outlining the company's intent. For those who have chosen to receive automatic updates through Windows Update, we help customers prepare their devices for Windows 10 by downloading the files necessary for future installation. This results in a better upgrade experience and ensures the customer's device has the latest software. Unfortunately, this does not consider customer needs, wants, and restrictions. Since Microsoft has not made an official statement regarding this issue, it is unclear whether they will continue to use Windows Update to strong arm customers into a product they do not wish to use and that makes some devices incompatible with their computers. Remaining silent and doing nothing does not seem appropriate or likely with all the negative press it has received. You can expect to be hearing from Microsoft soon.